Well, the new custom firmware is finally out. It's, it's still 3.55. If you saw the news, PS3 will be updated to 3.6 tomorrow, which would be March 10th, I believe. Let's see here. Yes, March 10th, PS3 3.6 is coming, so once that comes out, don't update if you want hacks. But back to this video, this is going to be a new P uh, PS3 custom firmware for 3.55, and this is going, it's called PS3 ITA, PS3 ETA, something like that. And this, what this allows, I believe, is backups, everything that KMEOW offered, as well as PSN access without having to use PSN. So that's pretty cool. It's, uh, you can just disregard my last video if you guys want to use this firmware however if you don't want to flash a ps3 again if what you have is working fine you don't want to mess with it like my, my dad always said don't fix what isn't broken so if you just want to keep using that if you don't want to update to this you just want to remain on kmeow just watch my previous video which can be watched right here or you could just follow this video and just uh, restore everything just make sure you back up your stuff and you could run the new firmware without having to have your, uh, your ps3 hooked to your pc to run the exploit so let's go ahead and get started Alright, I'm currently running KMeow on my PS3, so before I go ahead and install the PS3 IDA, you want to restore back to the official 3.55. This is just to ensure that you know it's installed the way the developers were meant it to be installed, and that there's no uh, issues with the custom firmware going over a custom firmware. So just to be sure, you always want to restore to a Sony firmware first, so that's what I'm going to do. So as you can see here, here's my flash drive, you have a make a PS3 folder, an update folder, make sure it's all capital letters. And I have the official 3.55 update right here. So that's pretty much done. And you just want to, of course, just drag that right over. So once that's done, then you just want to go ahead and go to your PS3. All right, so here I am at my PS3. And as you can tell, I'm on the custom firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and put my flash drive with that uh, official 3.5 puck into my PS3. Now to reinstall um, 3.55, the official, I wouldn't recommend just going up to a software or just software update and just installing it that way. I would prefer going into the recovery menu. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So you want to shut your PS3 off. Okay, so once you see that little red LED there, you want to hold, you want to go to like you would regularly do to turn it on, but you keep it held down. And you'll hear a second beep. And then you'll hear another beep and the system will shut off. Okay, and then you can let go. Now what you want to do is do the same thing. You'll hear one beep, and then you'll hear two consecutive beeps. And after you hear those, you want to release. Double beep, release. And as you can see on the screen now, you're at the recovery menu. Alright, so once you get here, you just want to go to system update. And then you're going to want to hit the start and the select button. And then that will search your flash drive. And so once that checks your drive, it will find that pup and then you'll just install the official 3.55. Alright, so there you see it just says preparing to update. And I guess I'll just be back when this is done. Okay, so we were brought here, so you want to hit the PlayStation button, it's going to check. Alright, this is going to look all very familiar. So then you hit X and it starts to update. So as you can see there, did the usual Sony thing, jumped from around 30% to 100%, and the system is now restarting. So upon restart, we should be on the official 3.55, no more hacks, just the way Sony intended it. Alright, and here you are. There's no more install package files, just Sony's usual cross media bar, no hacks, or anything like that. So now let's go back to the computer. Alright, so now that I'm on the official 3.55, it's time to actually upgrade and install the custom firmware. So this process is scary similar to the previous installation. So you just open up your flash drive, go to PS3 update, and you can delete the update pup that's in here. So just delete that. And next you want to go to this website, there's a link in, this, in the description, go ahead and click that. And you want to download this one right here, the first one, the PS3 custom firmware with PSN access patched pub. 
uh, when this was when this was released, you had to do the patching yourself. But someone just uh, pre-patched it and uploaded it, so that's very convenient for all of us people that don't know how to do that. So that can be found right there. So download that, and you'll get something that's named this. So then just go ahead and double-click it, and it'll go ahead and and extract. And just like last time. You can just go ahead and copy here, but you want to rename it. Uh, don't leave it two. Just get the two out of there. And just like that. So now you're ready to go and actually install the custom firmware. All right. So here I am at my official 3.55 firmware. So now all you want to do is put the put in your flash drive that has the custom pup on it. Come up to System Update. Update via Storage Media, and this is very much like old times. As you can see, 3.55 PS3 EDA was up there now so just go ahead and hit OK just like you would for K Meow or for pretty much any other update. So go ahead and go through the license terms and of course you have to add in something of course in Spanish though. Anyway so we're gonna go ahead and we'll start the update. I assume this will take anywhere from two to five minutes depending so I'll be back when it's done. Alright, and the update just jumped to 100%, as it always does, the typical Sony fashion. So here we should be booting into the cross media bar. And if you come over here, we should have install package files, app home PS3 game. And uh, just to be sure there's no interesting spoofs to be looking at here. Nope, just regular 3.55. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my internet connection and everything in my PlayStation account and we'll do a sign-in test. Alright, so I'm all set up here, so I'm going to go and attempt to sign in. Totally awesome. No setup, no exploit, no nothing. It's all under the hood. Very impressive. So I am signed into the PlayStation Network. Once again, this is um, not really allowed by Sony, so if you're caught doing this and your console is banned, I'm not responsible. I myself might get banned. I don't know yet. But that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very simple. You probably, you guys probably didn't even need a tutorial, but I still wanted to get one out there. But that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much all there is to installing the PS3 IDA, IDA, however you say it, custom firmware. Like I said, you probably, you guys probably didn't even need a tutorial. It's just so easy now, but. I always like to get one out there just to be sure. I know some guys like to see it done before they do it themselves. So hopefully this was help to you guys. Uh, there is no more PSN exploit. It's all built in under the hood of that firmware, which is incredible. Uh, definite props to the guys that made this possible. So if you have any more questions, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also check out iTechCity at iTechCity on Twitter as well as iTechCity.org. Uh, it's a great website. It's great technology based. Uh, has forums, blog great just for all the technology geeks like myself to get together. Uh, the site's been doing great so far so thank you guys for your support and I hope it just proves to be a great tech website. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.